Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I want to do like a chatty get ready with me and I have a few products here that I want to um, use on camera that are new and some not so new. All right, so not so new. I'm going to start off by um, setting my face with my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I've been using this as setting spray and as primer. All right, so for foundation, um, I'm gonna use the new Chanel foundation. Um, I don't know when this launched, but I know it's new, and it's the new hydrating foundation. And I have it in the shade BD31. I've used it a couple times and I like it a lot, so I wanted to use it on camera. And this has like a light to medium coverage. I can get like a good medium coverage on um, with it. And this was like so bougie, it was like, I think it was like $65, but because I love the long wear foundation, but that's like more matte. So I figured, you know what, let me give this a try. And for shade reference, I always say, but just in case you're new to my channel, I am NC50 in MAC, and this is what it looks like. I think I got a pretty good match. But what I've been doing, because it's like so liquidy and so like runny and light to medium coverage, I've been putting it on with my finger first and then going in with my beauty blender because I personally don't really like to use a brush to put on my foundation. To me, like I always end up going back with the beauty blender anyway. And it's like I always see like um streaks. Alright, so I'm gonna use my elf sponge, my favorite um makeup sponge and this is so pretty on the skin guys and it just literally like melts into your skin it's like almost like a like a second skin it's like your skin but better i mean it's very pricey and also super fragranced like motional makeup very fragranced because Years ago, I had purchased a blush from them, and the smell was. And I don't, I'm not really that bothered by smells, but that particular smell was so overwhelming, I couldn't use that blush. I don't, I, I don't understand. A lot of luxury brands do that, though. They put a lot of fragrance in their, um, in their makeup. So this is what it looks like on the skin. Very pretty, and I have normal to dry skin. And initially, at least for me, when I put it on, it looks sort of dewy like this. But as the day wears on. Like when I add my powder and stuff, to me, it doesn't get overly dewy. It just looks normal. I guess if you have oily skin, I am not sure. And it reminds me a little bit of my Givenchy foundation. Okay, so I've, I've been pairing it with my Benefit um, Boing Cakeless Concealer in shade 10. You guys, I've talked about it so much on my channel. This is like my favorite um, concealer. And it's been working out great with this... Um, foundation and I randomly like match myself on the website because I, I, I purchased this from the Chanel website like when you get the stuff very nice packaging your receipt comes in on an envelope <laughs> very bougie but um they didn't have the undertones on the site but at least I didn't see it and that was a little frustrating because when I buy a foundation because you know I like a foundation with a warm undertone I like to see I like to see them right like is it yellow is it neutral like what is it <laughs> and there was like no um no indication so I went kind of blind I said you know what let me just go with BD 131 because I just I looked at the swatches they had and it looked as though it was like warm enough golden enough and I think I did very well but I um I really like this foundation guys All right, so I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Cream Contour in the shade Tan, and um, I haven't been cream contouring. This is gonna be like the first time in a while that I've been, I've just been going in with, um, with powder bronzer. But now that it's, it's, and it's like, it went from summer to fall, like there was no in between. <laughs> One morning I got up and it was cool, but I don't mind, I don't really like hot hot weather and this was like a very hot uncomfortable humid summer for me so i didn't mind this fall coming in 
So since it's been like cooler and I figured, you know what, today I can just, um, I can do some cream contouring. And I, when I do my cream contouring, I just like to put it like here. I don't go like around my whole forehead because it's like, to me, my forehead is kind of small. And I really don't want to shape like the, um, I don't want to like change the whole like shade of it. So I keep it to just like this area right here. All right, just have my under eye. This is not new by any means, but it's new for me. I'm gonna finally try the Peach Perfect Powder from um, Too Faced. This smells just like peach so pretty. And I figured, you know what? It has like a peachy kind of brightening um, tint to it. So I figured, you know what? I just don't like the packaging and I get in this off because I kind of swatched it. I've never really actually put it on my skin. And it's like, I always fight with, the, with like the cover. Anyway, and I'm gonna pour some over. And if you guys own this powder and you're around my skin tone, do you use it over your entire face or do you put it under your eye like I'm about to do now? Let me see how it's gonna look under the eye. Like I said, I've had it for a while because it was on sale either at Sephora or Ulta. Is it not bad? I don't remember which website had it. Because <laughs> I've been buying so much damn makeup. Okay, this, oh my God, no, 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 no. Oh Lord, okay. This is definitely peach. This is like a corrector, so I think I'm gonna go over this. Well, since I did one eye, I might as well. And this is not playing nicely with my foundation. A little bit of it raised up here. Oh well. I don't know if I should have waited for my concealer to dry, but with this concealer, I've never had an issue, but it's like it went and it just stuck right in this area and looks weird. All right, guys, I don't like my under eye with this powder. I don't like, I don't like that powder, at least not for under eye. It's just looking so like stark, like very like reddish under my eye. I don't want a reddish tone under my eye. So I grabbed the new La Mercier powder that I have in Honey. I think that it's Honey. And let me see if I can save it with this, like put something brighter over because this in it. Maybe this would save it. Okay, just brighten it up a little better in a good way. All right, because that was not a good look. You can clearly see like where it started, started and stopped. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> I don't know about that powder. Let me let me know how you guys use it, especially if you're of a deeper um, skin tone, and what are your thoughts, and if you do use it under your eye, under your eye. All right. So today, I'm gonna do a very quick eye look, and because um, I don't really have anything new for my eyes. Oh, I really don't like the way my under eye look. Anyway, so I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury. Her, um, I think these are called what the eyes to mesmerize. And this is in Star Gold. I've used this before on my channel. So I'm gonna just go on my lid with it and I'm gonna put it on any which way because I'm gonna um, go around it and uh, blend it out. And I'm looking down in my magnifying mirror as usual. So I'm just gonna put this on. This is like a nice gold kind of bronze color. And you know me with my bronze and my gold. Like I said, I'm just putting it on I don't really care how this sits right now because like I said, I'm gonna go over it with like some type of like powder shade like in the corners and just uh, blend it out. All right, then I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona Her Bronze Palette, my favorite palette from her. And I'm actually gonna mix these three shades, this, this and this shade right here and just put that in the crease I don't want too too much color and I'm obsessed with this palette as you guys know I, I, I actually heard somebody called it boring and I'm like wow they probably really must like a lot of colors because I don't think it's a boring palette at all I enjoy it quite a bit all right so I'm just blending the edges here. And then I'm gonna take one of the gold shades and put it like in the in the center of my lid. And I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I can't see the names, <laughs> but this shade right here. 
using my fingers it's it has like a dual chrome kind of shape this this kind of like a goldish kind of orange kind of green in there and I'll just put it over top the cream shade right in the center like that just for a quick eye look nothing fancy all right guys I'm back with lashes and liner on I wanted to do the other eye on camera but guys I could not stand how that peach powder looked under my under eye so I literally removed all of my face makeup and reapplied it and used the Laura Mercier powder to set under eye because to me it just looked horrible anyway so let me go ahead and set my face Charlotte Tilbury powder in shade 4 and this is still my go-to powder guys I really love this and I love using it with this Sonia G from her sky face set this brush and I like to push it into my skin all right so I've been loving like a nice tight powder contour so I've been I went back to my Scott Barnes his um, contour palette and I've been using this shade right here to really carve out my jawline and I've been using this Fenty brush I think she has a sale on the Fenty website right now 20 25% off brushes and I've just been putting it like right here in this area this shade and just and these shades in the Scott Barnes his contour palette they're so so pigmented like they really show up on deep skin but see look at that especially this shade right here and I just kind of like tap 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 it out but I've just been keeping it right here on the back of my cheek to like really snatch <laughs> I snatch my face and then after I, I do that then I've been going in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder and really using it as a bronzer and not contour if that makes sense because every time I've used it I've used it as both bronzer and contour you can use makeup any which way you want to so and I've, I'm still using my Sephora number 80 brush and then I've just been bronzing around my face there's nothing like a good bronzing to make you feel like sun-kissed and I've been struggling to film guys like maybe the next couple weeks I probably will struggle to film because I'm going through remote learning because I chose not to send my son to school um, if you've been watching looking at my channel and been subscribed for a while I have a son with very low functioning autism like very very low functioning so um, he doesn't understand that he has to wear a mask he doesn't understand the dangers of not wearing a mask um, he constant he constantly sticks his finger in his mouth so that would be like, are we looking for trouble sending him to school? He would definitely probably end up with COVID and bring it home. So there was a choice for remote learning or in-school learning. I chose remote and my God, oh, they're following this curriculum as though he's a higher functioning kid and it's driving me crazy because he's not like, oh, two plus two. The answer is, and the rest, the other kids are saying four. And my son is like, he doesn't even know what that is. So it's been me, and it's been driving me nuts. He's on a schedule. I'm trying to bring him back on the schedule of getting up early. It's been torture. So all week, that's what I've been trying to get myself acclimated to. All right, guys. Moving on from that. Of course, you know me. I purchased this hourglass palette. Now, you know, they came out with the four pan and the six pan. And of course... Either they don't listen or they don't care. And I was thinking after this, I should boycott Hourglass until they make one of those six pan palettes for deeper skin because they could have brought out two. They could have brought out the one they brought out and they could have brought out another one. Anywho, so I bought the four pan one and this is part of their sculpture um, by collection. It would be nice if I can open it. Okay, anyway, this is what it looks like. And I haven't really seen videos on deeper skin and I don't blame people not wanting to buy to purchase this and this is what it looks like 
And seeing this in person, because I actually got this last night, and seeing this in person, it looks a lot deeper on the website. It looks deeper on Trend Moods page. It looks deeper on the Hourglass website. But for me, I'm not gonna use it like bronzer highlight, no, on my skin tone. I love a nice flush of color on my cheeks, so I plan to, I mean, it's very pretty. It's pretty. It's like $58. I purchased this from the Hourglass website, though it's not on Sephora. The six band is on Sephora. And I plan to mix all the shades together because that's what I like, a nice wash of color with like a little sheen. But I'm still gonna swatch the shades on my skin tone so that you guys can see it. And this is the first time I'm actually touching it. So let's swatch it and see. Yeah, really, really light. This is gonna be perfect for me to blend everything together. All right, so this is it swatched on my skin tone. Could you imagine trying to use this bronzer on my skin tone? And even this little um, palette, because I know this, these colors are, they, they launched a six band palette in 2018, and this was one of the quads in that palette, and I think they just put it in this one. But um, yeah, but let me, before I um, swirl them all together, I'm just cleaning off my brush here. Before I swirl them all together, let me try that, the, the, the Kind of, I mean, this looks so burgundy online. It's for me, it's like a very, it's like a lightish kind of pinkish mauve shade. I'm gonna try putting this by itself on my cheek and see if that would actually show up. Okay, not really. So yeah, just like I said, I'm gonna mix all the shades together. I mean, it's pretty. Don't get me wrong, but they could have done this deeper for like deeper skin tones. I mean, come on. See, for me, I don't mind this. A nice wash of color. But if, you know, the average person doesn't want a wash of color, especially if you are um, of a deeper skin tone. You don't want a, a wash of color. You want color. You want that, like what Selena Gomez came up with. Like, come on, hourglass. All right, so swirl together. And then when I set my face, I'm going to go in with just the highlighter alone and see what kind of highlight I'm going to get. But this is what it looks like on my skin tone swirled all the shades together. I personally like it because this is what I like. But if you're of a deeper skin tone, like this is not, this is not it. Especially if you want it to um, show up. All right, so I'm going to set my face with my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. All right, so for me and what I like, I actually love how this looks. This nice little pinkish mauvey flush. I do um, like it, but um, like I said, it's definitely not deep enough. All right, so I'm gonna try the highlighter by itself and see what kind of like, you know, glow I'm gonna get. Okay, so this is looking like a very light champagne on me. It's not bad. Nice and subtle, nothing too crazy. And these powders are so beautiful, so they really need to make a darker pan you know, I'm gonna mix what's, what is supposed to be the bronzer with the highlighter as well. Let's experiment a little bit and see, you know, what I can get. All right. And I'm gonna put some, it's a lot of like, it's kicking up, it's kind of powdery, but um, okay, the highlighter is not bad. I may even have to tone this down a little bit because it's looking kinda, you know. Let me take the powder brush and kind of like go over it a little bit. All right, the subtlety is not looking too bad on my skin tone actually, but it's really pretty. Could you imagine if this were, were deeper for deeper skin? Hourglass should be ashamed. All right, so for lips, I've already lined with my Kylie Jenner True Brand K Lip Liner, and I'm going in with, this has been such a favorite of mine. It's from Stila, and it's called Dolce. It has a little bit of a shimmer, but yet it's matte, lasts all day, and I just love the color. It's so pretty. Like a lot of the videos that I've been doing lately, this is the lip I've been wearing. All right guys, this is the finished look. And I absolutely love this foundation. I think it's so beautiful and I'm so happy with my the shade I chose. I do not like that peach powder from um, Too Faced. I don't know if it wasn't meant for my under eye. I don't know what went wrong, but that was not it for me. Did not work out. I do like this palette.
but you know it's geared towards what I like that subtlety that little sheen with a little bit of color so this is perfect for me and I'm gonna get quite a bit of use out of this and it's it's, it's absolutely stunning it's very pretty but they need to do better and make a deeper palette of course anyway guys I hope you um, enjoy this get ready with me any questions just leave me a comment of course and um, I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys